So here we are on the Mac OS 9 Lives website, uh, the forum more specific. And there is an update to version 8 for the Mac Mini G4. It's uh, quite some time, April 11. It's posted there for quite a while. And uh, if you have a earlier version, you can update to it. There are people who participated in that project and some uh, information about the installation process. There is nothing you need to modify on the machine. You just uh, burn the CD and install it. In the latest update, there are uh, some uh, graphic uh, drive driver updated and uh, some other minor fixes. But uh, the image contains an information file about that. So anyway, I, p I post a link to the image here. And uh, let's proceed and uh, turn the machine on. Okay, this is a real Mac Mini, so uh, the start procedure takes as much as it takes. I'm using that uh, Mac Mini for a, a lot, including gaming every now and then. You can see I got a few games on there. So here I'm showing you uh, the machine is equipped with one gig of RAM. 32 megabytes virtual memory, uh, video RAM, and uh, its mass or uh, it shows is a, a cube. That's the way how it works. So I'm I'm pulling the update off my uh, Linux server. I got a transfer folder there in case I need to push stuff back and forth. I got the full image and the update image. So if you if you have not even installed Mac OS 9, you can go ahead and use the full image. Unpack that. and then mount it on a desktop. Okay, now uh, you might want to start with the README. It contains some information. Like uh, the naming if you want uh, start the update it's, it's going to ask you for the hard drive or the name of it so you have to type it in as it shows and uh, in case you use target disk mode so let's start the update This is the field where you have to type in the drive name as as you can see it on your desktop in case you have several different partitions with uh, different installations. I got only one drive. So 
it gives you status yeah you don't update the drive this goes uh, automatically you don't have to do anything just ends with restart which you should do so let's reboot the machine Made it to the desktop finally. Okay, uh, the README said uh, empty the trash. This is where your old drivers are. You don't need them anymore. Uh, you can back them up if you want to, but they were replaced. And uh, a few other items too, like this copy. Oh, here again, it's not going to show you much of a difference. But in an, uh, a personal conversation with the guy who actually made the image, the update image, uh, there is one way how you can tell if you have it already or not. And this is by... Uh, opening drive setup and if you look at that screen he said uh, it should be version 192 and uh, that's how you know if you got the updated version other than that you don't see any real difference Most of it is just cosmetic and under the hood. So this is it. Let's turn it off and uh, that's done for, for that update. See you in the next video.